Now we're getting back onto this vehicle. Well, that's one as I get closer. That uh, I suspect possibly evaporator that they bought it used and somebody filled it up with refrigerant so it would work when they sold it to them but run out of refrigerant later on. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kick on the key long enough so I could hear and feel the blower go. Right there, when I feel it, I turn it off. Okay, turn it off, because I feel it. There it goes. Going up a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna turn, turn the key ignition on just for a second. Feel the blower go again. There it goes. You know, it's it's so little. I do not want to uh, condemn a evaporator that's you know like 15, 18. Well, we're going up to three. We're getting up there. Now, 95% of all other leak detectors, if not 99% of all other leak detectors, cannot pick up refrigerant diluted down from an air vent this far away from an evaporator. This is a extremely extremely sensitive refrigerant leak detector but I am not comfortable with condemning an evaporator at just that one two or three parts per million but I do know the history on this the customer bought it used and it was working when they got it and then stopped working and uh, and I cannot find evidence visually or with the leak detector underneath the engine compartment of a leak the only place I pick anything up is is when I come back inside here. This is the only place I pick anything up. Of. But this is an extremely small amount. Just a little puff. Now I'd be much more accurate there. Now, this is where you take out, there's some sort of axis underneath, whether it's the blower motor or if you have any kind of resistor, and you can go up underneath and try to get your leak detector closer to the evaporator, the pinpoint. Uh, drill a hole, put a bore scope in there. It all depends on the complexity, your labor rate in your area, your ease of access, what next method you're going to choose to find a leak to try to prove it as a evaporator leak. And um, we live in a country, in a state, in a city that's extremely high labor rate. And it's almost better to prove this one, run it with refrigerant with UV dye, telling them it's a possible evaporator leak, trying to go up underneath, see if there's easy access to any kind of device that could be pulled out, a sensor or anything out of the case that we can easily get to and uh, try to get a little bit closer and use the UV dye as evidence for diagnosis later on when it runs low on refrigerant, we can actually prove without a shadow of a doubt there's UV dye on the evaporator because here in San Francisco, California, unfortunately our parts and our uh, labor rate are so high that uh, I, I don't want to falsely condemn an evaporator but I kind of know that it might be and uh, but it's not strong enough for me to say yeah do an evaporator all right guys we'll uh, go on from here and uh, I'll charge this up all the way and determine how good of condition the compressors in the expansion valves operating properly all everything else uh, before giving my full diagnosis all right, let's see what I find.